Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else beyond the pale beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. out in this city, but I'll explain. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed, and of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. No more witches in Karnaka. I knew plenty of people like Paolo growing up. Maybe not as crafty. Vice Overseer Burn. I dread each interaction with the Abbey. If I put people to work down in a mine, I'd want to live in a fortified bunker too. The old Batista neighborhoods, full of mining families. Called the Dust District now.
So the Royal Protector is headed into the Dust District. Corvo says he hasn't been back in a long time. And I can't blame him for that. According to Sokolov, he'll be trying to get into Aramis Stilton's house. <laughs> Not easy. I've tried. Stilton was a friend. Even as a mine owner, he was a good man who came up from working people and never forgot it. I went looking for him the night he disappeared, but the house was swarming with the Grand Guard. I showed them what I was worth, but it cost me. I'll live to see that score settled. Huh. What's that? Ready now? Let's go. We'll take Megan's skiff closer. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast, the mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Sirkonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery has only been possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District. Maybe Stilton's still in there, or maybe he's dead. Find Megan once you reach the Dust District. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. The mines could have been run slower for another generation. Only the Duke's greed caused all the ruin here. Has life been better here under Dunwall's influence? Or are the people worse off for it? Without the Empire, would they have thrown down the Duke? The people here have never seen a banquet table at the Duke's palace, or the one at Dunwall Tower. from the Duke. I'm hungry. We're losing too many people. Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the Howlers use, then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins or something. Shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out of them. That won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne. And I don't see you or me beating a path to the crone's hand, or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up.
I get stuck out here. I'm tired of cleaning silver dust out of my ears. Grand Palace. That's an assignment. All apples and slippers. They pushed the miners here too far. I should do something to help them. The overseers won't just leave the district. And the howlers can't. Paolo has a price on Byrne's head. And the vice overseer effectively wants the same thing. Hello, Lord Protector. Stilton's home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you'd worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. When the Duke falls, one of these groups could own Karnaka. Better get to know them now. The entrance to Stilton's home is below. That's where I got jumped by the Duke's men a few years back when Stilton went missing. I killed three of them and got away with my life. If Stilton is still alive, go easy on him. He wasn't born an aristocrat. If you've got reservations about going after Paolo or Byrne, the Howlers might be holding the secret to the Jindosh Lock. A kind of riddle that otherwise I doubt you'll be able to solve. Open that lock, and you can just walk right through Stilton's front door. This part of the city used to be nice, but digging out the silver too fast has ruined it. Some people get to eat the fancy dishes without ever seeing the animal get its belly slit open. The two sides are struggling over the hearts of the underclass in Karnatha. Vice Overseer Byrne offers them the solace of tradition and structure. The Howlers claim to fight for the people, against the powerful. You'll have to decide who's right. The Howlers and the Overseers are breaking bones and cutting out tongues for half a block of territory. Like I said, if you don't want to mess with the Overseers or the Howlers, just walk up to Stilton's front door and try your hand at the Jindosh Lock. Maybe you're smarter than the thousands who've tried to open it. This is the Duke of Sirkonos. Been 
told that people are complaining about dust from the mines falling on the city. Yes, war is expensive. You may not be aware that our silver mines are operating past full capacity in order to fund our conflict against the Northern Isles. That's not dust. It's the blood of our enemies. Rest easy, Theodanus. You were a good man. Jemmy's sister says you can beat any lock in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this, but what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he weren't a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Kieran Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? No, I can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. What are you covering your face for? Keep the dust out? Came to see the infamous Jindosh lock, did you? Good luck with that. <laughs> Impossible. Ooh, if you're trying to get into Stilton's, that. give up. Probably nothing left to steal anyway. <clears throat> this door was sealed by order of the Duke. He had that Kiri Jindosh build the special lock. If Stilton's not dead inside there, he'll never get out past the Jindosh lock. No one can open it. spitting teeth. Far as I know, you might be an overseer spy. Unless I hear you've taken down the vice overseer himself. Stay out of Howler territory. Walk away. That's the smart play. What happened here? A body here? Oh, hello. At first I thought you were one of Paolo's gang, but you don't look so bad up close. Somehow, being so close to the Howlers has kept me safe so far. They like me because I pay up every month. All they care about is the money. Business used to be real good here, with the silver mines and all. How things change.
go, the mines were a good job. Stilton made sure of it. No one got fired for being injured. Yeah, so they say. The mining office handled things like that. And the family committee made sure that the bosses never got too greedy. Kind of a stalemate. Everything worked as long as one side didn't win out over the other. And that's exactly what happened once Stilton disappeared. The family committee. Looking out for the miners. If Paolo gets his way, the law will mean even less than it does under the Duke. If you ask me, it'd be good if the Howlers and the boys from the Abbey end up killing each other off. The Abbey, the Howlers, what's the difference? They're all bastards. And I've never been keen on the idea of the Abbey exerting more control. They see us as sheep. The soup is only for the workers and their families. Something tells me you're not one of them. Between what the Duke did, and now the Howlers and the Overseers fighting over the area, these people haven't been fortunate. Sharing some of the Imperial currency. Thank you, friends. If you're brave and you're looking to make some money, there's a back door to the Crow's Hand Saloon leading to the basement. You look like you're on the road yourself, not one of the high and mighty. It's hard here now. The miners hate the Duke, but they're lucky to have work. Watch out for the overseers, stranger. And the howlers. The Grand Guard are a bunch of shitbirds, too. Shitbirds all the way to the top. Who keeps you safe? When the overseers come around with their questions about your suppliers, about the special trinkets you carry? You know how the Abbey feels about that. What would they do if they knew you were selling carved up whalebone? Blasphemy. Who keeps them off your back? Paolo. I know what he does for me. For all of us. That's right. He sends us out to risk our lives for you. But somehow, you're not grateful. I can't afford what you're asking. Why do you take our protection? You don't give me a choice. It's the overseers who don't give you a choice. Just think about what they'll do if they find out what you're up to. Then let me know when you can give us the money you owe. Paolo just wants what's fair. If he does that again, whoever you are, I don't care. Don't screw with us. I don't know you. Out of my face. Not interested. You take care of business, you hear?
been robbing black market shops. Help me find out who. We could do business. Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here. What's worse, overseer zealots or cutthroat howlers? Can't be too cautious. Look, the shop's getting cut off. Who's gonna say anything? Hollow and burn. Maybe the bosses are getting too comfortable. You bastard! A full day's work. Oh, that's oh, that's what I want. Know what a full day's work was. Find another way, brother. This path is barred to traffic. I can't believe this. I've lived in this district for most of my life. <coughs> if you believe this to be an inconvenience, weigh it against losing your life to one of the Howlers. Now go. That's the last time I give my coin to the Abbey. Don't mess with the Abbey. Stay in the neutral territory. Want to help us? Go put that sword in the Howler's skull. Stand accused of actions forbidden by the teachings of the Abbey of the Everyman. Given that each crime was witnessed or later verified by sworn and faithful overseers in good standing, no trial is required. For theft of food, for hindering a sworn overseer of the Abbey in his duties, death. No! For the keeping of articles of a heretical and fetishistic nature, for consuming the flesh of rats. Death. I faced worse than you, Abbey boys. Silence, apostate! Well done. A shepherd must cull his flock. They have paid for their crimes in this world. They belong to the void now. Hold the strictures in your heart, brothers and sisters. Something is and you will follow Some a proper path. Grown bold by these times. I shall not.
tactics with Brother Cardoza in the peninsula. I'd approve their resort to these same dirty tricks. Seems like a good way to take a dart to the belly. Well, the Howlers aren't known for their caution. But these aren't too hard to deal with. If you've got a steady hand, and you know what cables to cut, you've got to do it just right. Wait a second. If Karnaka restabilizes, the doctors and dentists will start treating people again. The vice overseer hasn't shared his plans with me. He's upstairs now, so I assume we'll learn something before long. I'd wager it'll all be over soon. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to deal with a mob of ruffians. You know what the strictures say about wagering, brother. The howlers are merciless, and Paolo carries the outsider's blessing. Some talisman come straight from the jaws of the void itself. Keep that in mind, or you'll find yourself bleeding out in some alley. Forgive me, Brother Nikos. Everything, wherever they go.
wonder how the High Overseer is faring against Delilah back in Dunwall. Strange. Very strange indeed. And I must draw strength from my brothers. God has won them. Accounted for six of them. Why be tempted by such gilded nothing? I'm glad it's you in the end. If I have to go, it warms my spirit to spend my last minutes with a true friend. You honor me. I wish there was another way, but it's a gut wound as bad as any I've seen. Better this than a day or two of agony. Then I go, and I keep the strictures close to my heart. May there be no discord in my spirit. Goodbye, Overseer. Fade from this world. Curse those harlot bastards and their black souled boss. labor that is rigorous squeak eases the muscles as a sponge rinsing impurities from the mind and body Sisters of Burn. the Black Lord, I have seen it, and I feel it in my bones. So this stalemate with the Howlers must be resolved. If we eliminate Paolo, there's no end to the influence we'll exert over Karnaka, over all of Sirkonos. Dozen overseers have died trying to bring Paolo down. We've struck him fatal injuries, and somehow he comes back the next day to fight again. Whatever witchcraft he has, even the ancient music is ineffective. I believe Paolo is in possession of some unclean artifact. It's my fear that he has to be killed twice in one day. And the Duke won't help? The Duke is no friend of ours. He exiled me from the Grand Palace and he's done everything possible to push the Abbey of the Everyman out of Sirkonos. The look on his face when he dismissed me from court. There's something wrong with people who live in palaces for too long.
Stilton. I know you're all ready to begin. Our speaker tonight is none other than Aramis Stilton, who owns the mines where those you love toil beneath the ground. Mr. Stilton is known for his fairness, and that reputation is not for show. Welcome to the stage, a friend to the Miners Family Committee, Aramis Stilton. Good workers, good people, thank you for having me. Our annual dinner is always a special time, and I cherish the conversations and the toasts as we renew our bonds. My closest friend in this world, whose name some of you will no doubt guess, is known for this saying. We rise together with the same dawn. We feel the same wind on our faces. We fish the same ocean. These are words worth remembering, spoken by a man who fills my heart with joy. As you dine tonight, surrounded by your families and the other miners from your teams, let those words echo in your thoughts. And above all, please enjoy yourselves. You've all earned it. I got for the Blade Verbena. I left it with my mother. It's been over 30 years. So much has happened since I left. Our children wouldn't be choking themselves to sleep at night on the dust. It's easy to blame the Duke, but we both depend on the profits from industry. The mines are the lifeblood of this city. No. The Duke could have continued operations like his father did. Fast enough to sustain the city without burying us all in dust. How? There are twice as many people living in Karnaka now. If the mines slowed down, half the people in my family would be out of work. What's the point of being worked into an early grave? just so you can afford to eat for a while?
So Paolo has a secret. That's useful to know. I don't know you. Cross the line and you get cut. Paolo says the only way someone gets past me is if they've got burn. says he's carrying some old lady's hand. Which, dead at dog's age ago, maybe before we were born. Nasty. But it keeps them alive. It's all connected, Tivoli. Once the Abbey's off our backs, I'll make it too expensive for the Duke to run the mines. The workers stop digging, the Duke will see that mines producing at half speed are more profitable than mines producing nothing. For better working conditions and less dust in the streets, we'd be happy to up our payments. There's a way to satisfy everybody. First, in this district, then across the city. The people who work the mines have more power than they know. Thank you, Paolo. All right, I'm stepping away for a moment. Don't drink all the rum while I'm gone.
Vice Overseer Byrne. Yeah, I can still taste that hagfish. Maybe she's right. I could clean my teeth once in a while. Let's see what the fruit looks like. What's going on? I'm here on the boat. <laughs> Look at this guy, out of his mind. There are blood flies in the soup. You guys see that, right? Someone's going to be in a lot of pain tomorrow. Blood flies crawling all over the soup, lapping it up. You're almost there. Maybe you need just a little bit more. Lucky, lucky. The vice overseer himself. If you're working with us, good. But I still got my eye on you. Keep taking out overseers. We'll warm up to you just fine. Goodbye, Vice Overseer. Paula wins then. Look who's the big hero.
is after about three of them rum things. said you took out Burn. If so, take his corpse to Paolo. in the mood. Show yourself. I knew I was right about you. Mindy ain't no fool. I can smell a winner. 
They say hard days make strange friends. If we had more time, I'd put my tattoo and needles on your ass. Leave you with some wicked ink. What's one more, Black Mark? But I'm short on time. Next time, maybe. You help me with the Overseers. We could use somebody uh. like you. to pay off your debt to society, Paolo. strong as he recited the invocations. 
Young Liam Byrne was transfixed. His faith is strong. Perhaps overly so. He sees the influence of the outsider everywhere. In the Duke, the street gates, and even the miners. Something nags to him beyond the usual worries. He will consult the sisters of the Immaculate Order, and they will set his feet on the right path. His father taught him to read, using letters carved into handcrafted wooden blocks. He seeks to weed out the witches and heretics, those who have succumbed to the lure of the void, and who bring chaos where they tread. And as a boy, turned in by his mother for his restless hands. He extracted a confession as he would from anyone else. It would have jeopardized his ascent by his overseer to do otherwise. His mother encouraged his musical talent, but his interests lay in the comfort of the strictures and the rigors of the Abbey. He has seen a troubling increase in his superstitious beliefs and the use of charms and spells. He waits for guidance from the oracular order. Once a week, he meets an old friend of his mother's for dinner at a cafe at the edge of town. He listens to her stories again and again with great patience. When his years in Karnaka come to an end, he hopes to move to the capital in Dunwall. He will have the ear of the High Overseer himself. Before they took him away for the trials of aptitude, the Overseers in Freyport watched him for months, debating his promise. If he has any other secrets, they are hidden from me. I hope five years away gives you time to think, while the city rebuilds itself without your little war. <laughs> <laughs>